this just in! We have reports that the January 6th committee has a smoking gun testimony that proves President Trump committed crimes on January 6th. Trump will definitely be going to jail. This is a historic day. Cassidy Hutchinson has testimony that will send Trump to jail. She has first-hand accounts that Trump called for an insurrection. This is worse than Watergate, and we're 100% sure of that. Your grandchildren will know the name Cassidy Hutchinson. Bombshell testimony that Trump committed crimes on January 6th. This will be historic. Miss Meadows, leading up to January 6th, what did then acting White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows tell you? I remember going to Mr. Meadows' office and he was scrolling on his phone. And I said to him, I just had a very interesting conversation with Rudy. It sounds like we're going to the Capitol. And he said to me, I don't know, Cass, but there's a lot going on. Things might get real, real bad on January 6th. Could you tell us what President Trump meant when Mark Meadows said things might get real, real bad on January 6th? When Mr. Meadows told me that, what Trump was telling me directly is he wanted protesters to storm the Capitol and commit atrocious acts of violence. What type of violence was President Trump advocating for when Mark Meadows told you that? Stabbing people with bayonets. He wanted everyone to have very sharp bayonets on the end of handcrafted bamboo rods. It was very clear that he wanted them sharp and with serrated edges. And once the rioters had plunged the knife into their victims, he wanted them to do a twisting motion like this. Ms. Hutchinson, did President Trump ever tell you he was gonna march to the Capitol? Yes, Kevin McCarthy said that to me. Could you tell us what President Trump was intending to do with the Capitol when Kevin McCarthy said that President Trump said he was gonna march to the Capitol? What did he mean by march to the Capitol? He meant that he was gonna go there to kill the Vice President. <gasps> We got him. And I think he succeeded in killing the vice president because he never went to the Capitol and we haven't heard much from Mike Pence since. Your first-hand account of other people's first-hand accounts of President Trump, along with your precise interpretation, is all we need to lock him up for life and to prevent him from running for president in 2024. Ms. Hutchinson, do you have any other first-hand accounts of President Trump's criminal acts on January 6th? Yes, I do. Let's get into those. Did Rudy Giuliani ever suggest he was interested in receiving a presidential pardon for the acts surrounding January 6th? He did. Why? Because he knew he was part of seditious criminal acts. That's clearly the only reason why he wanted a pardon. The only other possible reason why he would want a presidential pardon is because he thought the political opposition would set up a big black flag operation to frame the events of January 6th to look like an insurrection. One where security guards would be instructed to let people into the Capitol and the Speaker of the House would deliberately tell Capitol Police that extra officers would not be needed on that day. The FBI would have plainclothes agents acting as provocateurs in the crowd. They would illegally hold innocent people in jail for a year and a half. And then some sort of committee would be formed to propagandize and then investigate what they would call criminal activity on January 6th. And then Mr. Giuliani would be safe from that corrupt political persecution. But that would be far-fetched, and to my knowledge, no such committee exists. Therefore, it's clear that Rudy Giuliani wanted a pardon because he was guilty of criminal acts on January 6th. Ms. Hutchinson, all of us on the January 6th committee appreciate your brave testimony. Thank you. What other criminal acts did you see President Trump commit? I went into the dining room where I noticed the waitstaff changing a tablecloth. Then I looked over towards the fireplace and mantle. That's when I first noticed ketchup dripping down the wall. And just to be clear, the ketchup was still dripping at this point? It was. And then I noticed there was a shattered porcelain plate on the floor. 
The valet staff then indicated to me that President Trump got very angry while watching the Attorney General give an interview to the Associated Press, and he threw his lunch against the wall. Miss Hutchinson, did you taste the ketchup? I did. What did it taste like? Violence. And Miss Hutchinson, was it organic ketchup? It was not. What message do you think President Trump was trying to convey to you with the ketchup on the wall? I think the ketchup symbolized the blood that President Trump wanted to be shed at the Capitol that day. And is it true that Trump was also not in the room with you when any of this happened? It is true. Another smoking gun. Could you tell us what happened in the presidential limousine that you were also not in? I remember it vividly. Trump wanted to go to the Capitol, but the Secret Service refused, saying it's unsafe and that they're going to take him back to the West Wing. The president then reached up and grabbed the steering wheel, which I think is a crime. Does President Trump have a valid driver's license? I've never seen it. Then it certainly is a crime. And how did it make you feel when President Trump grabbed the steering wheel? I felt sexually violated. I believe you because you're a woman. Well, also not knowing what a woman is. What do you remember seeing next in the limo that you weren't in? He then used his free hand to lunge at the Secret Service agent, specifically at his clavicle. Ma'am, I'm the agent that was there with the president in the limo, and I am willing to testify under oath that that story is completely fabricated. Sir, please sit down. You weren't there. We're only taking testimony from eyewitnesses. Miss Hutchinson, we have a handwritten note that proves your relevance as a witness. The note says, anyone who entered the Capitol without proper authority should leave immediately. Did you write this note? Yes, I wrote it for the president. I matter. Why is the note written in Eric Hirschman's handwriting? Because sometimes I like to write in his handwriting. Thank you, Miss Hutchinson, for providing this bombshell testimony that's more than enough proof that President Trump instructed the masses of people to storm the Capitol and commit horrible acts of violence during the mostly peaceful insurrection on January 6th. And there you have it, the January 6th committee's smoking gun testimony. Powerful. That's your proof that Trump committed multiple crimes. Can we get him in jail already? All your descendants will remember the name Kathy Anderson. G Cassidy Anderson. Kathy Hutchins Smith? Cassidy Hutchins Smith. Truly a historic day.